everybody what's up welcome back to my channel this is another moving vlog for you guys it's sunday morning it's raining we slept in my apartment for the first time last night slept amazingly really happy with my mattress choice i have the casper nova we are in rain attire got my tote bags feeling like a True New Yorker. I know you're not a New Yorker till you're like living here for 10 years. I know, don't come for me, okay? We're headed to Bed Bath & Beyond to get all the essentials, so let's go. Got a whole list of things to get today. This place has a Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Bed Bath & Beyond. This is perfect. Just spent like 10 minutes in the knife aisle trying to figure out what knives I need and which ones I actually use. Whew, man. This bath area is like a dream. There's so many things. Ooh, waffle robe. I wonder if it's long or short. Got as much as we could handle for now. Some things I wrote down. I'm gonna order online because I need like some pot sets and like a bigger trash can. This one's for my bathroom at least. And we're using a bag in my kitchen. But I'll do a haul when we get back. All right, you guys, it's haul time. I mean, a lot of it's basics, but I know people like watching this. Just got a little trash can for my bathroom. I thought the all white one was good. I like ones in bathrooms to have the lid. Got a toilet brush. Weird, but I really like how this one closes when you open it. Very nice feature. Closes when you open it. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think. Two cutting boards. We got a wooden one. I really like this. And then I got this like plastic one or poly one. Um, this is good. My mom was saying, you know, you can hold it and then scrape things into a pan. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do like a knife block on the counter and decided that I don't need a ton, a ton of knives and I know what knives I've used in the past. So I got this three piece set and then another serrated one for like bread and pizza. And I'll just keep that in my silverware drawer. I got this cute yellow citrus squeezer for lemon and lime and stuff like that. All kinds of essentials here. Wooden spoons, ladle, spatulas, whisk. Love these things. This is a dish brush that you can put soap in and squeeze it and scrub a dub. Um, you know, the basics like measuring stuff, tongs for cooking things, a meat tenderizer, got a wine opener, salt and pepper, lighter so I can finally light a candle in here, steak knife set, I loved these big handles, got this kitchen towel to dry dishes with, and I like how it's got two different sides, two oven mitts because of course this thing's really cool this is a drying mat so if i want to hand wash dishes i can use this and it also has a little rack too um but it's just more sleek and then i can roll it up and put it away if i don't want it out got two mixing bowls a medium and a large also good for popcorn but this is also for the sink to put my sponges in bathroom thing got more purple shampoo because i do need that this I got as like a little bathroom spray, bergamot and patchouli. It's called Meditate, actually. It's just like a little room mist. Shower cap, use this exact one at home. Shower cap gang, where are you at? I don't like, someone's calling me, oh, it's Ryan. He's going shopping. Last but not least, we have little hair sectioners because I needed them. So now I'm gonna put all this away. We are now headed to Crate and Barrel to return or exchange the lantern to get the proper one. And then also it's in a nice area where Maybe we'll walk to Urban Outfitters, check out their home stuff, a couple other areas. It's raining, but we do have umbrellas and we're not like caring about our looks today. Um, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> so. More shopping. We basically are shopping, eating, shopping again, sleeping, unpacking, repeat. Yeah. That kind of vibe. And you only do this like once and then yeah, it's like it's done. Right. So. Dream team, high five. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry guys, I didn't really vlog because it was pouring rain and we were just umbrellaing from place to place. But we went to Crate and Barrel. I got the big lantern, so I can't wait to unbox that and show you guys. Colander, I didn't see any at Bed Bath & Beyond that I liked, and this one's perfect. Got some dish towels, I liked this material just so I can hang them on my oven. I got this little, um, well it's called a jar scraper, which I might use for that reason, but I got it for making scrambled eggs in the morning, or just like, it's just so cute. I really had to have it. I feel like I'll use it a lot. And then also at Crate and Barrel, I found this expandable um, silverware tray, and it's perfect, and I wanted this wooden bamboo look. But yeah, it's crazy. Like, we are at Crate and Barrel once, but then you have to come back, put everything away, and then you're like, oh wait, we need this actually, and just, yeah, no. Yeah, now we left all this out, so now we're gonna spend the next hour and a half or so and put all this away, get the dishes in the dishwasher, do a load, 
um, all kinds of things. All right, so Peaceful Michelle is napping, of course. Um, I did some things. So my dishwasher's running right now. You guys, it just puts this little red dot so you know it's on because you literally can't hear it. So cool. I did some dishes because it is a very small dishwasher so not everything fits. But I put out this dish rack and it's perfect with the little drying mat. Washed a couple of things that didn't fit. Put out the silverware tray. I have most of the utensils washing. I'll have to wash all these too, but I'll probably just hand wash them. But I just want to put them away for now. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. This drawer is just random. I put my candles in here so I had some better counter space. Um, I don't really know. And then down here, I just put in the mixing bowls. This is going to have to be organized, but I just wanted it out of sight, out of mind. I actually do like how these look out. So let me know down below what you guys think. I also have those two. Lots of storage up there, honestly. And I also did get one more thing I forgot to show you guys from Best Buy. I am getting an espresso, the one that also makes coffee, but it's on back order. I'm not sure when I'm getting it. And honestly, this was not super expensive and it would probably equal the amount of money I would pay for coffee for the next few weeks just if I eat out every time or if I get coffee out every time I mean um so I thought this was worth it it's the K mini plus I'll link it down below um I just got the black one it's so small and basically I've never had this one but I've used my friends you just fill up your coffee cup with the amount of water you want put it in the back put the pot in and it makes a cup so it's just it's so small and tiny and if I don't want it I could sell it or give it to Ryan or someone that needs it but I like my cup of coffee in the morning and I do love a good Keurig moment. So I'm going to set this up over there now. I have to go buy some pods. I love the Pike Place pods, but I feel like this is great. I mean, it doesn't have a water reservoir, so you have to fill it up every time, but no big deal. Guys, I just set up the third lantern. I cleaned them all with Windex. They are looking pristine. As the sun goes down, I feel like it's just going to be such a vibe in here. It's coming along. Headed to do what we do next in the cycle, which is eat. <laughs> Shop, unpack, eat, sleep, repeat. So we're headed to this place my mom found. It's a Vietnamese restaurant called Ginger and... Lemongrass. Ginger and Lemongrass? Ginger and Lemongrass. Um, should be good, some good comfort food. It's still raining. Um, but yeah, that's the update. Love it, TPA baby. <laughs> This place is such a fine, props to my mom. A little hidden gem, so cute. They give you your water, it's infused, we love that. Right in the Lower East Side. Very yummy, I'm excited. I got chicken pho, she got shrimp pho. Looks so good. And I got this really good beer that has orange peel and ginger that it was brewed with. Really yummy. Just got back from dinner and my mom's friend Sonia last night at dinner gave me this New Yorker gift. It's like a this wraps up and I could put it in my purse as a little tote. She was like, you never know when you're gonna need it. And sure enough, stopped by Dwayne Reed on the way back. Got more things. <laughs> Eat, shop, repeat. Got some Mr. Clean for my bathroom. LaCroix for my fridge, a new toothbrush, my mom wanted a chocolate bar, a little sweet craving, another complete cookie. I got these because when I slick my hair back, I've seen people use these brushes to help and this could be good for parting my hair. I went to go get Pike Pit. <laughs> trouble getting out. I also went because I wanted to get Pike Place Keurig pods for my Keurig that I just set up over there. And this guy was in the aisle with me and just slowly grabbed the last one. So, but I do have half and half now and I will find them. But yeah, I did set up the Keurig. Also, my mom's friend Sonia gave me these flowers, which are so pretty. They're actually, well, obviously they're real, but you know, you have to like water them, I think. Yup. <laughs> this looks good. So, my mom had the idea, because I've been just really wanting to watch a movie. When it's raining like this, you really want to watch a movie. I'm connected to my mobile hotspot because I don't have Wi-Fi yet, and we put my computer up. And we're just gonna watch a movie in bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning. My mom's in the shower. I'm gonna watch an episode of White Lotus. I'm literally using my mobile hotspot. Um, so I've just been dying to watch a new episode. And then we're gonna go to breakfast. All right, guys. So game plan for the morning. We're gonna go check out this place called Pause Cafe that we passed by yesterday. And it looked really good. They have ginger shots. They have coffee. They have breakfast. 
Looks like it might be a good spot for me to go do work and stuff. So we thought we'd go eat breakfast there. It is raining again. I'm just not trying with my hair. It's natural. I'm just throwing it up. I just have other things to worry about right now. <laughs> I don't want to open those two suitcases because that means I have to unpack them. <laughs> So I have one suitcase open with like loungewear, PJs, and activewear, and that works for moving. So I'm just wearing this set from Revolve right now, um, and I put my sneakers on. And then after we eat, I think we're gonna head to a little grocery store and just get some basics, just slowly but surely doing things. So, good morning, New York. Still can't believe I live here. It's still, and I cannot believe I look like this. That's okay. Let's do it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Got the groceries and my little tote. She's got a tote too. I just got the basics. I'll show you guys when we get back, but feeling feeling so city. My mom started printing the groceries away and I said, hold on, grocery haul. <laughs> All right, grocery haul. Blueberries. Okay. My fridge is definitely small, but we're gonna live. I also decided I'm gonna start being that girl that puts butter on a tray. Like a little butter dish. I need to get a cute and one. leave it out. And so leave it out so it's soft, you know. But don't have that yet. Hummus. Just got some random basics. Eggs. Look how cute. It's yellow. Fun. Some sourdough bread. Shout out Delaney. <laughs> I was inspired. Um, pretzel crisps for the hummus. Ham. Just I like to roll up ham and eat it, or put it in my eggs. Bananas. Good snack. And last but not least, <laughs> ginger shot. We're gonna try these Mon Fifo. <laughs> they just had them by the checkout. My mom was like, "They have ginger shots." I was like, "Quick, quick, grab one." This is my fridge. It's a little baby. So the fridge is on top. The freezer's on the bottom. Got a six pack of Lacroix right here. Some beer. Bread and eggs. We have our pho from last night fresh drawer and then I just put the hummus and ham in there. We'll figure it out, but yay, feeling productive. There are officially cups and bowls and plates in my cabinets. Wash those guys. Hi friends, so I finally put on makeup and did my hair. It's crazy, the confidence that changes. <laughs> the sun is coming out. I don't know if you guys can tell. We don't really know how long it's gonna last. You never really know these days, but we are going to head uptown. I actually ordered a bag from Balenciaga about a week ago. It was the last one left that they had in store at the Madison Avenue location. You guys will understand when you see it. It's a very me bag and I thought it would be the perfect bag for fall. It's like my little pop of color. So we're gonna go over there and pick it up and just make a day out of it. I um, might meet up with a friend or two while we're over there and just walk around, enjoy the day because my mom leaves tomorrow. And we don't have to be home for any deliveries today or anything. So we thought we'd take advantage of this weather in this little window. I think we're gonna take the subway uptown um, and figure that all out, figure out my local like stations and what makes the most sense and just figure out some new routes. Wearing this little guy, it's from Revolve. It's a fun little set. I'm just gonna tote bag it. It's just the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. You ready, mom? I'm ready. Ooh wee, so much for doing my hair. It is so humid out. Oh. <laughs> it fell, I knew it would. Walking around, just got off the subway. It was an easy ride, didn't have to switch. All right, here we are, easy enough. I can't wait for you guys to see this bag. Guys, I am so excited. We were just walking and I, we walked past La Lava and I said, let's just go in. So I asked him, I said, what's your most popular scent? I wanna smell it. And he said, it's Santal 26. And I immediately smell it and I go, this smells like, like the one hotel. And he goes, this is what they use. They pump it through the air vents. So naturally, I got the candle and the home spray and I'm so excited. And they personalized it. So I'll show you when we get back, but it says for Danny's apartment. I love New York. <laughs> At Serafina Juice Bar, just getting some green juices. It's been a lovely day thus far. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Got Dr. Green's vegetable juice. This is delicious, needed that. All right, update. Just ended up getting my nails done. My mom met up with her friend. 
I met up with Mary Steven, we got our nails done, and we are now headed back to the Lower East Side. We've got a dinner reservation, so we're headed to the train, baby. Okay guys, we're back now, and I just took a body shower because it is so gross and hot out there. My mom and I have dinner reservations at Soma Pasta Bar. I'm so excited to try it out. You guys know I love um, pasta. So I wanna show you guys this little hack. So like the front pieces of my hair, like my hair just did not look nice and air wrapped up for stepping outside because of the humidity. But something I've been doing when my front pieces are just super flat is I've just been braiding the front. It's a really cute summery look too. And I just plan on wearing this fun little orange dress I have from Zara. So I thought that this would be perfect. I literally, I don't French braid. I just regular braid with three strands. Sometimes I pull in new ones in the front. You just need clear elastics or fun, colorful scrunchies, whatever you have. And then you're good to go. And then maybe I'll take my air wrap and put some more curls in the back of my hair. Shake it out. They're kind of stiff at first. So I'll like, you know, but... Overall, it's just really good for the summer. So yeah, here's the box to that La Labo um, fragrance. And I was able to personalize it, so I wrote for Danny's apartment. I'll show you guys later. We're kind of in a rush to get ready for dinner, but I thought I'd show you guys. Everyone is asking me about the bag. I posted on Instagram, guess what color bag I got. Pretty much everyone said green. Great guess. Some people said Duncan vibes, like pink and orange, which would have been a good guess. Here she is in all of her glory. This is the Balenciaga Hourglass bag in green. The special thing about this one is that the green is also B, or the, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, that the B, <laughs> that the B is also green. Um, it has this green hardware instead of silver. Um, well, obviously up there it does, but this green B was really exciting for me and it was the last one they had in store. I couldn't order it online. It's even brighter in person. I can't even explain it to you guys. And then it also comes with crossbody, which is great. It fits my phone, wallet, the essentials. So, so pumped about it. But yeah, that's the bag I got. All right, here's a little outfit of the night for Sola Pasta Bar. I wanted to wear my new bag, but I thought green and orange were gonna be too, too much. I don't know, pink and orange, but green and orange. I don't know, you guys let me know down below. This dress I just recently put in another vlog. It's from Zara, I love it. Actually, Brooke has it too. We both realized we both have it. Sneakers for comfort. White bag is from By Far. And yeah, I think the braids go well with the dress. I'm so excited to eat pasta. I'm in the mood for a beer. My mom's all freshened up, so cute. Yeah. It's our last night together. Yes. Yes, Jesus, thank God. <laughs> All right, we're here, and I'm just turning into a beer girl. Third night in a row, getting beer. Here we are, Sola Pasta Bar. It's so cute here, I love the sign. It says, blast this effing music, so cute. I ordered a lemon drop shot for myself because I just wanted a shot, and it's such a bit, like, can I take this in one thing? I don't know, updates to come. All right, first up, we got a truffle pasta. We're doing a little tasting. I couldn't be more excited. All right, we got the gnocchi with ricotta. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. We're done. So full. It was so delicious. I'm not sober. <laughs> I literally, we sat down and I go, Mom, I want to get a little tipsy tonight. Because this whole been, weekend has been like, we've worked hard. We worked hard. I said no to go to bars with people. I said I have things to do. So Monday night is when I shine. Hi guys, we just got back. We did a 30 minute walk. So first up, this is just all random stuff. We have some light bulbs. I have some lamps, like some overhead lamps I'm getting for my bedroom. I wanted to get some light bulbs that you can change the colors. I like the idea of having like a red at night, you know. I got those. I love Amazon Prime. I ordered this stuff last night. It's already here. I got another candle. <laughs> it's the Apothic Vetiver candle. You guys know how much I love it. It's a big boy. Um, because I want my apartment to smell good at all times. And then I got these guys. I got these guys to put in my fridge. They're a little bit bigger than I expected, actually, but they're basically for fresh produce and stuff. They're like little colanders and then like the little baskets. So 
I can put my berries in here, wash them, and then literally put this in the fridge. Getting a ton of coffee table books. That is what else is being delivered tomorrow, my coffee table. Um, so I'm gonna have some coffee table books in my room and in my living room. So this is the first one. I just looked up coffee table books on Amazon. This is one of the ones that I got. It's the Christian Dior um, coffee table book. It's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to go through it. I am so excited about this coffee table book. I've had my eye on this for honestly years. Gray Mallon, an amazing photographer. I actually got a piece of his for my living room that I can't wait for you guys to see when it comes in. But he does amazing photography, and this is his beaches coffee table book. I got another one of his books too. This is all of his beach photography. He does a lot of overheads of just different beaches all over the world, like from the Hamptons to Florida to Hawaii, like Lisbon, Portugal. It's just so beautiful. And it gives me a little piece of home, a little Florida vibes. Sierra, my interior designer, left her box cutters here. I've never had one before because I'm a little spazzy and a little clumsy sometimes. So, but I've never bought one, but she left it here and it really is useful to have box cutters. Oh, this is the other Gray Melon um, coffee table book. Yay, this one's big boy. I saw this one in person, but I'm so excited. His photography is just so cool and it shall look good on my coffee table and I'll actually go through it and I hope that People that come to visit me also read through it. This one's heavy. Gray Mallon, check out his work. This has like all of his work in it. So maybe there's beach stuff in it too, but it's just all of his different photography. Oh, and on my way back, we stopped at CVS and I didn't have my tote with me, I was so sad. I got some Pike Place Keurig pods so I can actually have coffee here in the morning. And then I also got a box of Sleepy Time Tea, the extra edition, because I haven't been able to find that yet. Extra just makes you even more sleepier. It's so relaxing at night. We're a big Sleepy Time extra family here. We love it. That is another little haul. This vlog is just full of hauls. I know, but that's moving, and I feel like you guys like it, so. Anyways, it was a really nice night. It was so much fun. Just got back. Gonna wash my face, get cozy, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Lots of deliveries coming tomorrow, so exciting day. Good morning, we have more furniture. Crate and Barrel just came and delivered these three beautiful dining chairs. I am so happy with them because I'm doubling my kitchen table as a desk. At least we're gonna try it out. And these chairs are just so great and perfect for working on. Um, since my couch isn't coming until potentially October, we're gonna say sooner. I think once I clear this area out, I'm just gonna put them over there and line them up. So once I hang the TV up, I can like watch the TV on something. But I'm really excited about these chairs. They're like little director's chairs. More deliveries to come today. We're just trekking along. I set up this little charger over here. It's so, so cute. Mom's just doing things. I'm burning the Santal candle. Hopefully it'll start smelling like the one hotel in here. Oh, I wanted to show you guys, look. It says Danny's apartment. It's so cute, I got to personalize it. My mom's just over here cooking herself some eggs and the vibes are just immaculate and I had to record the first egg cook. All right, we're doing my first cup of coffee in the new machine. First cup in the new apartment. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Everything's the first. Oh, I usually like to put cream in first. What am I doing? Also guys, we already set off the fire alarm this morning. <laughs> off to a great start, my neighbors love me. It's okay, it was just from this and we didn't know how to turn on the fan at first, but we're good. Yay! Furniture update! My dresser just came in. This is from One King's Lane. I am obsessed. Sierra killed it. It fits perfectly in this little nook. I'm doubling it as like a TV console. I think I'm actually gonna be hanging up my TV. It's gonna double as like a dresser for me because this could not fit in my bedroom, but it's so perfect and it has these huge drawers, like insane. I think this top drawer I'll put I might split it in half, so I might put, I have like my drinking games and just random fun entertainment stuff. And this half I'll do clothes, and then also clothes as well. Um, but I think it looks beautiful in this space. I'm so happy, it's from One King's Lane. And then in here we had another piece of furniture be delivered. This is a little console. This is typically what you would see under a TV. I'm not having a TV in here, but that couldn't fit in here, so I got this, and that's where these baskets come into play. I'm gonna put those baskets under here. This is also from One King's Lane. It does have two drawers, and then I'm gonna decorate this. Um, 
Sierra and I have been picking out some fun plant things and all that and hopefully cover this. So yeah, so yeah, those baskets I'll probably put like bathing suits and sweatpants, I don't know, something like that under there. And then these drawers might be good for like my underwear and stuff, honestly, now that I think about it. So I'm really excited, everything's coming together. I like don't wanna put the baskets under just yet because I think they look so good <laughs> over there before I have nightstands, but maybe I will. We shall see. So yeah, things are a happening. We gotta take these boxes down. This is for my other plant that will be going in my bedroom actually. And these moss balls are for my coffee table, which is actually also coming today. That's the last piece we're waiting on. So that'll be really nice to have a coffee table in here. And I just put these here as my makeshift couch for the next month. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely need to start scheduling my task rabbits. <laughs> um, Katie Bilotti has a task rabbit guy that she loves that helps hang up things. So I'm gonna have him help me with my TV. And I have some lamps coming in from Ikea that I wanna hang right here that I need help with um, and anything else that I can think of. Oh, her suitcase is packed. She's leaving soon. Not yet, but soon. But bye for now. Bye for now. She's been so helpful. We've had so much fun. And the space looks great. We're like clearing it up so we can enjoy it. Now we're just gonna chill and hang out. So she has to leave and we're also waiting for my coffee table. Ugh, I'm just so, so happy with how it looks. All right, about to do my first doing well daily in here. We're doing chase your calling with everything you have. Well, New York called me and I said hello. So I'd you say I'm doing- You had me at hello. You had me at hello. Have lots to do once my mom leaves. Things that I just didn't want to do while she was here. So we're gonna write all that down. I need to get bedding. Like, uh, sorry, whenever I say bedding, it confuses people. I need a comforter. Scissors. I need scissors, yes, scissors. Oh, my over the toilet storage from Bed Bath & Beyond that we saw. I think that's great. Cause trash can. Oh, right, kitchen trash can. Oh, a hamper. Oh, and that's it for like big things I need to order. Gotta dance in the morning. <laughs> Yow! She's calling her Uber. She's leaving me. I have so much to do that I've been putting off, so now I'll yes. have a grind time and we'll see each other soon. We don't know when, but like yes. soon. It's such an easy flight from Tampa to here. And yeah, very, very much so. See ya. <laughs> Man, you guys, I am sobbing. <laughs> I'm so thankful for my mom and all of her help and my dad and just all, I just, I have so much support in my life and I am so grateful for that. And I know that and I'm so thankful. I'm saying goodbye to her. I'm like sad because you know, like we were together all weekend and now I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm living alone in New York City. It's like that TikTok where it's like when you realize blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh no. Dun, dun, it keeps backing away. That's me right now. And you know, it's 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 exciting because now I'm here and I'm so pumped. Ryan gets here this weekend. I have more friends than I could even imagine living here. I'm so blessed and so thankful and I can't wait to make more friends and do all these great things. But it's like, holy shit, I'm like living my dream right now. And I'm so thankful. Like I am, I can't believe I'm looking at this apartment right now and it's mine and I'm in New York City and I'm just, I, you know, it's almost like tears of gratefulness. It's like, <sighs> and I'm gonna miss my mom. Of course, she's just so easy to be around. It's so great, but truthfully, I told her like she can come up absolutely whenever. Anyone in my life, I want everyone to visit. Just having a little cry fest as expected. <sighs> and I don't have anything planned for the rest of the day, which is really nice. I, did, I knew that today would be a funky day. Um, and I really just need to like put my clothes away and I do need to run errands. I haven't seen Brooke yet. She's been so sweet. She was like, I know you have a lot to do, but I think she's gonna come over after her soul cycle class just to see the space and say hi. I need a shower for sure. I'm still like, I slept in the shirt. So yeah, I don't know how I look right now, but I just wanted to share that moment with you guys. Um, Cause it is a really scary thing. I have lived alone before, sophomore year of college, if you guys didn't know. And I loved it. Um, 
but then the last two years I had a roommate and then I lived at home. So it's gonna be an adjustment again, but I don't feel lonely at all. I feel like there's so many people right here. All right guys, I just showered and I feel a lot better. Brooke's almost here, but we got a new furniture piece. They literally knocked on the door while I was in the shower. <laughs> Loved that for me. Coffee table is here. Everything I wanted and more, it's from Pottery Barn. It has drawers on either side, which is really great. And it has storage underneath. I can't wait to just like put things on it, you know? Um, I think Brooke's just about to be here. I'm gonna go get her, but I just want to show you guys. Look who's here! Hi guys! Ah, oh my my gosh. Gosh. Sorry, you just grabbed Sorry, my sweaty I... scalp. <laughs> Christening guys. her. It's we so have to say <laughs> So, like the lighting's incredible. Like, you guys know Danielle and I are big lighting people, so this big. is really key. Big, and we've just been like sitting on the floor like we always do, chatting yes. it up. We're both in our little biker shorts mm -hmm. moment. And then Brooke is like, do you want to like go for a walk and do things? I was like, yeah. I kind of just, I don't know why, I was craving like almost like a smoothie or yes, something. Yes, have you been to Juicy Lucy? Lucy? Or where do you get your smoothies? You need to show me the neighborhood. Yeah. The last kind of smoothie was, a, that was like an odd craving, I feel, for me to have. Like, well, when, I'm here for it. When? Ginger shots? Sure. Should Probably. We? Yeah. Oh, wait, I saw one comment on your thing that was like, is it healthy to take this many ginger shots? I don't know either. Is it? Like, I have no I, idea. That I took a lot of shots. I know. Time. You were like, it's my third of the day. I know. That was a <laughs> lot of ginger shots. <laughs> I had that thought too. We'll do, I think one a day is good. I, I think, think one a day is fine. I haven't had one yet today. Oh. So. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Wait, have you been? Checking out Essex Market. I feel so New York-y. <laughs> At the market. <laughs> Oh my god, it keeps going. Yeah, no, it's pretty big. Very I'm trying big. trying to find the juice for these. Yum. Alright, ginger shot o'clock. Cheers. Ah. Brooke just told me bad. that we're going to the biggest Trader Joe's on the <laughs> East That's Coast. That's told me when I checked out one time, I guess. What like, if they were lying? No, you're, when you see the size, you're gonna be like, it's oddly large for a Trader Joe's. Oh, really? Joe's. You know, Trader Joe's is normally kind of like very small, compact. compact. Yeah. yeah. This one is, I'll say it, it's, it doesn't need to be this big, but it is, you know? Dude, I'm pumped. <laughs> and this Target, too, right? Yeah, this Target is the, I guess all the city Targets one. are kind of like. Guys, this place is huge. We decided to go grocery shopping. She was right. Like, I mean, it goes for days. Just got back from my walk with Brooke. It's just so crazy. Like, let's just go for a walk and go get some groceries and all that. It's the thing in New York is you guys probably like you keep like going grocery shopping or whatever. I'm just buying a couple of things at a time because you have to be willing to carry it. But I wanted to get some staples from Trader Joe's, some of my favorite like frozen stuff. So we've got Trader Joe's pork pot stickers. So good. Oh, I needed um, some oil for my pan. I got some of these pre hard boiled eggs. They're so great, great protein. Um, a cucumber to snack on. Just really good. Cutting it up is a great snack. My mom does that at home. Got everything but the bagel. Seasoning salt. Two ginger shots. Another great brand. The No Joke Ginger. And lastly, I got some of their chicken burritos to just put in my freezer. I prefer the rice and bean burritos, but they didn't have any. Locking myself in here. I have to edit a video. All right, you guys. The piece that I got for above my couch is here. <laughs> it's huge. But it's beautiful. It's a gray melon piece. So yeah, there's wrapper on it right now and I'm gonna keep it probably for a while. I just don't wanna scratch or anything while it's on the ground. But this is a gray melon piece. I've had my eye on him for a very long time. As you guys saw, I have some of his coffee table books. This is just, I don't know, me and Sierra were like the screams, the gal on the go, with the airplane, the photography, the balloons. I just think this is so different and I'll kind of elevate this space so it brings it some colors, some fun. I am so excited. This is gonna go above my couch soon. So, yay! Update, it's a lot later. I'm editing right now, ordered Chipotle. So I just put together this little cart from Amazon. It was 30 bucks, I'll link it below. It's so great, it rolls. I just needed more storage in here. This one drawer is not gonna do, as you guys can see, I have all this stuff that doesn't fit in this drawer. Cause if you guys don't remember, this drawer is kind of a fake drawer cause it's got the sink. So they made do with what they had, which I'm impressed. Um, so I have this for now and I don't know if I love it cause it's a little bit taller than the sink, but it works. And I like how I can put the soap um, and lotion here because 
um, when I go to open up my medicine cabinet, the soap would like, like I couldn't open it all the way. And now I can, which is definitely nice. So this allows me to free up some space on the sink. And then I'll organize, you know, hair tools, whatever, like I'll just do different baskets for each kind of product. Um, just not obsessed with how this looks. It's just such a beautiful bathroom. And then this, I don't know. I feel like I could do better, but honestly I needed the storage. It was 30 bucks and I'll see if I can find something better or I'll keep it. Like from here, it doesn't look that bad. You guys let me know down below. Cause here I've got my trash can and my little toilet brush. Talking with Sierra about doing something here. So we'll see. But I do like how that frees up space and I can put my soap on there. And that's really weird, but just thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, anything else in here that I have updates on? Oh, more coffee table books came in. This guy and another one that I put in my bedroom. And then I got some coasters too from, I believe he's from Crate and Barrel. Really like those. Oh, I should probably turn my lanterns on. That would be cute. I've got some candles going. I've got another one. Oh, it smells so good in here. Okay, I'm glad I have this going in here too. And, oh, my lamps came in. I'm so excited. I'm gonna hang these above on either side from Ikea. They're so beautiful. Very excited about that. Yeah, just exporting my video right now. Brooke is so kind and is letting me go over to her apartment right now to upload a video because I don't have Wi-Fi and tomorrow's Wednesday and I post Wednesdays and Sundays and I rushed to get this video done so I could go over there before she goes to sleep. So um, yeah, I'm just waiting for it to export and then I'm gonna head over to her place really quick, hang with her for a little bit while it uploads and then come back and then we have a gals in the company tomorrow and we have dinner with her tomorrow. So lots of brick and daily time but I'm so here for it. So yeah. All right guys, I just got back from Brooks. I was literally just there for like 20 minutes uploading, chatting. It feels like we're homemates. It's so funny. We don't live in the same building but it just feels like that because we're close. Anyways, it's 11.20. I'm so tired. I finally did all my computer stuff. I'm so happy the video is uploaded so you guys are gonna get to watch that by now. Um, and that was my last Tampa vlog. I'm just drinking some sleepy time tea. I was texting with my mom. She got home safely. The exposure is so bright. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I don't really know. I'm just like taking clips and separating them based off of like how long it's getting. But we're gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. I love you guys so much. I feel more and more settled in every day. I'm gonna hop in the shower, get in bed, and watch some White Lotus because I'm obsessed. And subscribe if you guys are new here for more moving vlogs. Ryan gets here this weekend, so that'll be a great vlog. There's just so much, so much. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your constant support. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.